Today we're going to be making sock puppets and a peeper puppet. So this is what mine ended up looking like after I was all done. If you don't have a sock, skip ahead to the 9 minute 20 second marker. And if you finished your puppets, skip ahead to the 11 minute 45 second marker. The first thing that we're going to do is gather supplies. You need an egg carton, some drink lids or caps, some old socks, a hot glue gun, some paint, and I threw in a feather boa just to play with later on with my puppets. Your first step is going to be to cut the egg carton. You're going to need two little egg sections, trim them down, separate them, and then you're going to be painting them. I did my base color for my eyeballs white, and then I let it completely dry in the sun, and then I added blue paint for my eyeballs. If you don't have paint, you can use markers or crayons, anything that you want just to get a little color on there. That's totally fine. I also went ahead and painted my little black lids. I think these were on salad dressing in our house, but I painted them so that I could make both different kinds of puppets. So if you don't have an egg carton, use some lids. Hey, so now we're ready to start piecing it all together. So for our sock puppet, you're gonna want a sock. Now, I had lots of socks in my sock drawer. If you have a small sock like this, that's fine. You're just gonna wanna put the four fingers on the top and then your thumb down below to make your mouth. Um, for me, I really like this blue one. So I'm gonna be working with this knee sock because it's nice, it pulls all the way down to my elbow. And I really like that the colors are the same um, where it looks like the mouth would go. So that kind of looks like lips for me. So this is your base of your sock puppet. We already painted the eyeballs outside. So this is just an egg carton painted white with a little blue spot on it. And as I was painting them, I kind of stacked one on top of the other and I thought it looked just like eyelids. So I'll show you what I mean. So I cut out two more egg cartons and if I put them just right, now I have little eyelids. So I decided I'm gonna paint the little eyelids for my puppet orange, mostly because I'm totally out of white paint. That thing was really empty when I started. Um, so I'm gonna paint the little eyelids orange and then I'm gonna try to make some eyelashes to add to it. Um, those eyeballs are going to attach to the top of my sock puppet right about here. So I'm gonna be using some hot glue to add those to the top of my mask. If you don't have hot glue, you could even poke a hole right here and almost sew them or tie them to your sock. Or you could try Elmer's glue or something like that. But I really like the look of these eyes with the eyelids. So I'm gonna get to painting that and then I'll come back and show you. So my orange eyelids are gonna dry for a little while. That cardboard soaks up all of the paint really quickly. Um, I started thinking about eyelashes. I thought it would be really cool for my puppet to have a little bit of eyelashes on each side. And Maeve had pipe cleaners. So I'm gonna take these pipe cleaners and I'm just gonna cut them um, so I can play around and see if I like the look of eyelashes on my little puppet. So cut them in half so they're the same. And then I'm gonna cut them in half again. So those are a pretty good length, like this. So if I curl all these eyelashes and then I glue them inside my eyelid, I'll have big curly eyelashes and that'll be kind of cool. If you don't have pipe cleaners, you can do the same thing with any kind of paper. Color it the color you want and then curl it around a pencil. So this is just some orange construction paper curled around a pencil, but same thing, you can glue that around the eyelid and that'll be really fun. So I'm waiting for those to dry. I'm gonna curl these up and then I'll show you how I glue all the eyeballs together and get them looking great. All right, our orange eyelid is all dry and we're gonna piece it all together. So just so you get an idea, this is gonna be sitting on our eye like that. 
but I want to add some eyelashes before I do that. So I have my cut up pieces and I'm going to hot glue them around the side of this eyeball because I kind of want it to pop up around the edge. So I'm going to put some hot glue right there on the edge and I'm just going to place all my little eyelashes quickly into the hot glue so they stick. Don't worry about the curl right now. Um, we can always fix that after it dries. So I'm just pressing them in there, making sure they stick. And you can see those are already looking super cool. So you'll want to put the eyelashes on a different side. So if it's this eyeball, you want it to go that way. And if it's this eyeball, you want it to go that way, off to the sides. So once I have this on, oh man, that looks cool. I'm just gonna pop that on there. And then I can move these eyelashes wherever I want. I can curl them way up or put them to the side. You could even put them down like this, but that's hard to see your eyeball and you worked hard to paint that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue this in there so it stays on just like that. And I think I might actually trim the top of this because I want to be able to see more of my eyeball. All right, so the eyes are done. We've got eyelashes and lids. They're all painted, they're ready to go. We just need to attach them to our sock. So I went ahead and put the sock on my hand exactly the way that I want to wear it every time. Make sure that your fingers are all the way to the end of your sock. And then just take a moment and have your puppet talk and play around and decide where those eyeballs should go. So pinch them together like this and kind of place them. Um, oh, that looks great to me. So I can still move my fingers. I can see the eyes. Remember when your puppet talks, it'll be down like this. So you're gonna take a Sharpie and you're gonna put some X's. Oh, it's very big, you can kind of see it. Put some X's right where you want those eyeballs to go because you are not gonna glue these eyeballs on while your sock is on your hand because that would hurt. This is hot glue or wet glue and sticky glue and you don't wanna keep it there. So take the sock off and then hot glue it. You're also gonna wanna put something in between the sock layers while you're gluing like a strip of cereal box. That's what I'm gonna do. And put it in between so that when you glue your eyeballs down, you don't accidentally glue all the way through the sock because that won't work. So let me show you how. So as I was making it, I didn't really like how the eyeballs were separating. They were pulling apart. Um, so you saw me go ahead and glue the eyeballs themselves together. So it's glued to the sock and they're glued together. So I love this. I think it immediately makes me think of some sort of cow. Um, so I think that's so much fun. From here, you can do whatever you want. You could add glitter. You could add sequins. You, yes, sequins. Um, you could even pull out some feathers. Maeve has a feather boa and you could attach it to the sock around your wrist or you could even decorate the whole sock all the way down to your elbow. Um, but I think this cow puppet is so fun and I can't wait to play with it with Maeve. I know she will love it. All right, if you don't have a sock to spare because you don't lose socks like I do, then I'm gonna show you how to make a puppet with just a pipe cleaner and some drink lids or lids from something. I took two of these and I painted them white and then I added some blue eyes in the middle. And I took a pipe cleaner and I folded it in half and twisted it really tight so it's nice and thick and strong. So I'm gonna use some hot glue to glue the ends of this into my eyeballs. Let me show you. So you just kind of fill the whole bottom of your eyeballs with hot glue. 
Remember to work quickly because it cools. Definitely get a parent to help you with this, an adult to help you with this because you do not want to burn your fingers. So we're going to just press it in there and let them dry. Make sure they're in there nice and good. Doesn't really matter which direction the pipe cleaner is facing because we can bend it and move it once it dries. Our pipe cleaners are nice and dry at the bottom of these caps. So that is your paper pupper. That is it. You just take this and you put it between your one of your middle fingers and you can adjust it to make sure it fits you. And that's the whole puppet right there. You can get creative past this if you want and add maybe eyelids and eyelashes like we did on the other one. You can take gloves, gotta be gloves, not mittens, cause you gotta have your fingers free. And then you can add your puppet to the glove. So I can put the eyeballs up like this. And now he looks a little bit more like a puppet. Uh, these are fingerless gloves and they have mittens that pop up. So I noticed earlier that if I put it up, it kind of looks like my puppet's wearing a, a hat in the winter time and he's pretty cold outside. Kind of look like eyelids. So play around with your peeper puppet um, and see what you can create with that. Again, just two little caps and a pipe cleaner or you can use a ribbon or anything else. You could probably do a strip of cardboard also. Uh, but that is a very basic puppet that is super fun to play with. Um, so yeah. Now that we have our puppet made, mm -hmm, I'm gonna teach you the four basic rules of puppetry. These are the four tricks that will make you go from a basic sock puppet user to actually looking quite good. Um, if we've done puppets in class together, these are the same four rules. So go through them with me. So the first rule of puppetry is you open the mouth to talk. A lot of people are tempted to keep their puppet's mouth open like this, and then they close it to talk like that. But we don't walk around going, how are you? It's kind of silly. So open your puppet's mouth to talk and keep it closed when it's not talking. Right? Right. There you go. All right, rule number two is whisper, yell. If your puppet is whispering, only gonna move its mouth just a little bit. If your puppet is yelling, then your puppet's mouth is gonna open really wide as you're talking. So whisper, yell, whisper, yell. You've got it. Rule number three is eye contact. Your puppet should look at whoever it's talking to. If your puppet is talking to another puppet, then they need to look at each other. Um, if your puppet is higher than a person, then they need to look down at you. If they're lower, like if you're talking to an adult and you're shorter than them, then don't have your puppet look down, have your puppet look right at the person that they're talking to <laughs> so that it really looks believable, okay? And rule number four is the hardest one, which is drop the jaw. So the jaw, when you talk, is right here. So when you talk, that's the only part of your head that moves. You can put your hands on top of your head and you can still talk because the top of your head is not moving. But if you try to hold your jaw like this and talk, it's really hard. You'll notice that the top of my head is now moving and that looks weird. So same thing applies to your puppet. Your thumb is down here, that's the jaw. Just like that. So if your puppet is talking, don't move the top of its head. You can even just hold it down to practice. Drop the jaw, okay? So if you say, hi, I'm a cow, only the jaw should move, so it looks like this. Hi, I'm a cow. Now the top might move just a little bit, you know, because it's your hand, it's connected, and that's okay. You can kind of lift your elbow up and have it bounce a little bit, and that'll help. Hi, I'm a cow, just like that. So four rules of puppetry. <coughs> Practice them at home. Open to talk, whisper, yo!
eye contact. Make sure that whoever your puppet is talking to, they're looking at them and drop the jaw. Always try to drop the jaw when you're talking. Um, and you'll know to drop the jaw on the syllables. So if you put your hand under your chin, every time your chin drops, your puppet's jaw should drop too. Got it? I hope you had fun making some kind of puppet, whether it looks like this or one of our big sock ones like this. Look around your house for materials that you can use to do this and get creative. I can't wait to see what you've come up with.